Hello everybody, this is another episode of the Reef Automation Tutorials. I'm going to go over the set and fallback statements on the Neptune Apex programming. So the set and fallback statements are relatively simple. Um, so we'll go to my uh, test outlet here and you'll see I already have a set and fallback. So the set command will set the outlet to on or off or to a profile at all times. Um, and what that means is that if this is set off, that means this outlet is off. Now, if you were to put an if statement here, so if, if time 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. then on, the time will override the set off because it is lower on the list here. So during the time of 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., this outlet will turn on. Otherwise, it will always be off. That is what the set off does, is it sets off everything off when any of the conditions below are not met. The fallback statement is very similar to the set statement. However, the fallback statement is what happens if the outlet, for example, was to lose its communication to the Neptune. That does not mean that if the outlet was to lose power that it will go to fallback. It goes to fallback when the apex loses communication to the brain. Now, what that would mean is, for instance, you unplug the Aquabus cable from your power uh, block, or you were to have the Apex itself lose power, the brain itself, then the fallback statement would occur. Again, the fallback only works when the communication between the outlet and the brain stop functioning. So that's the set and the fallback statement. Uh, please take a look at my other tutorials and like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We do live streams every Saturday morning where I go over programming and automation topics. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the section of comments. And thank you again. Appreciate your support and have a good day.